everybody, this is Drew, and today I'm going to be reviewing Rack and Ruin. Rack and Ruin is developed and published, or sorry, developed by Life Spark Entertainment and published by Super Out of Games. Rack and Ruin is $12.99 on Xbox and a shoot 'em up action RPG, and it is releasing on January 29th, 2021. This game has been on Steam since 2015, so it's interesting to see that it's coming to Xbox now. In Rack and Ruin, you play as a manacled demon named Rack, who is a wizard, and he wants to destroy the world. Uh, as you as you progress through the game and destroy parts of the world, you do gain more power, but this also brings more champions of good to face off against you. The game is very open world, uh, uh, by sort of linear as well, as in it's basically going to show you where to go, except you're just going to have to figure it out as you go along. Because uh, I've found that I've been backtracking a lot and getting lost and confused, but then mostly just if I go in one direction, I usually either get back to where I started or I get to where I need to go. Um, but you can kind of go wherever you want, and the combat is very fast-paced, uh, and there are secrets to uncover everywhere. And each area is uniquely themed and has unique enemies. Um, it's kind of a dungeon crawly in that aspect. Um, Rack has four different elemental weapons that you can choose from, two that you start off with, one that's, one of them is, uh, uh, a, com a close up combat and one's uh, long distance uh, to start. Um, and you can find new items and spells and other things as you progress through the game. And there are also several uh, different types of mini bosses that have unique uh, attacks that you're going to have to deal with. Um, a lot of the items in the game, unfortunately, I'm not certain, don't give you enough information to kind of tell you what they actually do. <laughs> and so some things you're going to pick up and you're just going to be confused by. Um, unfortunately, uh, that is kind of a problem for this game on some aspects. Uh, it is a very simple kind of game, but it's got some things that you're just not going to be able to figure out very easily. The game doesn't also, it also has lots of enemies around, so you're never going to be really looking to, looking away for enemies because they're just going to be everywhere. Um, in the game you can also upgrade your weapons by selling the souls of the innocents that you take out. Um, um, for a five-year-old uh, port to Xbox, this looks pretty good. Uh, I did look it up, and it apparently this game was hand-painted, and it is a nice style, and so it looks really nice, and the sounds and stuff all are, are really, uh, really have a lot going for it from that perspective. The only downside of the game, really, is the story, which I kind of found to be somewhat boring. But uh, I, I think that uh, a lot of games, they don't like to take a risk on making a villain as the hero story, so... I'm going to give it a little bit of a pass because we need more of these type of games on in video games. It seems like a very under under uh, developed idea. Um, at any rate, uh, the exploration of the game is very ex advanced. So there's a lot of places you can choose to go and a lot of ways of getting there. Um, and uh, I'm going to give the game a 6 out of 10, because I think it's a pretty decent little game that you can play for a few hours and you'll enjoy it. But there's nothing unique here that you haven't really seen before. It's pretty much, uh, you know, a lot like other games of its type, you know. You could even say it has some Zelda mechanics, it's got some dungeon crawling mechanics, you know, it's got the standard RPG uh, shoot 'em up type things in it. Um, and the achievements are going to take quite a bit of time, maybe 25 to 35 hours, if not longer. Uh, they're not, I mean, they're kind of straightforward as, you know, just do so much of this, do so much of that, but they're just going to take you a while because there's a lot in the game. So, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing with a game like this, but if you don't enjoy the game, then you're not going to want to do the achievements, that's for sure. But at any rate, that's pretty much all I have to say about this game. Uh, so if you uh, do pick it up, let me know what you think about the game. And thanks for liking, commenting, subscribing. Let's, and have a nice day, everybody.